thank you all for coming today and congratulations to Kirsty and Ben for finally getting married. Yeah. Took a while. As Kirsty's best friend and her longest friend, and most importantly on class her as my sister, I would just love to say how really happy and proud I am of you, because you are the best. Kirsty has been disconnected from any of her own family, but I just wanted to know you do have us, and we love you a lot. Tia, Lydia, and Leo, you have absolutely done amazing today, and I'm sure Mum and Dad are really proud of the three of you. It's a long day, and yeah, well done, kids. <laughs> Of honour, I am very proud to stand up here and make this speech today. Kirsty, you may be stubborn and very distant sometimes, but between Ben and I, we have got you. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> Forever and always, 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 always. But anyway, congratulations on finally getting her down the aisle, Ben. Uh, without further ado, anyway, please raise your glasses to Kirsty and Ben. Cheers! <laughs> I'd really like to thank Ben and Kirsty for a fantastic day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to try not to get emotional. <laughs> yeah. Ben, as a little boy, always woke up very angry. <laughs> yeah. I used to say, I used to say to him, it's like, he used to wake up and it's like chewing bees. It was like, he was always angry. And uh, right up until the point he could actually walk. And then he suddenly discovered that life wasn't that bad after all and started running around. Unfortunately, we found out to our detriment once we were on holiday in France, as it happens, uh, with Penny. And um, we were on the beach and it was hot. We are lying on the beach and uh, we both decided, well, what we can do is, if I have a sleep in the sun, then you can look after Ben. Great idea. So I decided and uh, had a little sleep, and then, uh, unfortunately, we both fell asleep. <laughs> to our fear, the sea was rolling in with great big waves like this. We couldn't find Ben anywhere. Absolutely nowhere at all. We were terrified. Do you remember that? Absolutely terrified. Anyway, I ran down the beach shouting, Ben, Ben, where are you? Where are you? To see a great big load of people all in a big circle like this, all around like this. And I went through the middle like that, and there's a hole about 10 foot deep, and Ben's down the bottom digging a hole like this. <laughs> uh, I haven't got a drink with me, but I would like to um, just propose a toast to the bride and groom. And um, cheers, and all the all the luck and love for the future. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.
give you Ben this ring. I, Kirsty, give you Ben this ring. As a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. With this ring, I the word. With this ring, I the word. Do <laughs> <laughs> it. Twist. Did it? Like, it gets too small. <laughs> oh. That's it. Right. It's like it's on. It's like on. I Ben give you Kirsty this ring. I Ben give you Kirsty this ring. As a symbol of my love and commitment. As a symbol of my love and commitment. With this ring, I the wed. With this ring, I the wed. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone for coming and uh, making this day so special for me and Kirsty. Um, secondly, I'd like to thank uh, Mastercard, Lloyds, Platinum and Wonga for making this possible. We'll all be forever in your debt. Many years ago, when I met Kirsty, on one of our first dates, I turned up in my beloved, rusty old Ford Focus. To my surprise, she didn't seem bothered about the black smoke, more just amazed I owned a car. <laughs> I asked where she'd like to go, fully expecting I'd have to take her somewhere expensive for dinner. However, she replied, Asda for some wine. <laughs> From from that point onwards, I knew she was a keeper, cheap and easily pleased. Uh, a lot of years to now, her tastes have got decidedly more expensive. But what hasn't changed is her timeless beauty inside and out. When I see the commitment and love from my gran and granddad, uh, they've shown each other over the years, it would be my honour to follow them and dedicate my life to you in the same way and grow old together. These years that we've spent together have been absolutely amazing. Like, you know, I'm not going to stand here and say it's like a Facebook post because we have had our ups, we've had our downs, we've had our, like, do you know what I mean? But ultimately, what comes to it is that our love brings us together and no matter what, we always get through everything and that's the most important thing. And 
I love you, like, to the core. <laughs> like, you know, so much. <laughs> and thank you for everything that you do for me, because without you, I would be lost. Um, you make me whole. <laughs> you do, you complete me. Um, and yeah, I just would, would be completely lost without you. And you are an amazing father to our three children. And I wouldn't want anything else more in this world than you. So I thank you so much for loving me.